In this video, we'll cover how to build an offline first app using Superbase and PowerSync. To keep it simple, we'll follow the PowerSync Superbase integration guide. And before starting, you need to have free accounts with Superbase and PowerSync and be using one of our supported frameworks. With this architecture, you change your app's read and write database from Superbase in the cloud to a SQLite database embedded within your app. This will make your app always available even when users are unexpectedly offline. And PowerSync will take care of syncing the data back to Superbase, which will still be your source of truth. The first step is to create some database tables in Superbase. So we'll go over to the PowerSync documentation, copy this code here, go over to Superbase, open the SQL editor, paste that code, run it, and we can see that it's run successfully. PowerSync uses the Postgres write ahead log to replicate data changes, so we'll need to create a publication. For that, we'll look at the documentation, copy this code over here, go to the SQL editor, paste it in here, and run it, and you'll see that it's run successfully. Next, what we'll do is create a PowerSync instance and connect that to Superbase. So go to the PowerSync dashboard, create a new instance, give that instance a name, uh, select a region, and then go to the DB Connections tab where you'll add a connection. Go over to Superbase and the Settings tab where you'll find a database section. Now, importantly, you need to uncheck Use Connection Pooling here. That means that the connection will be IPv6, but that's okay. PowerSync supports that. And once you copy and paste that URI in and also get your password and pass it in there, you should allow querying data from the dashboard, test the connection, then go over to the Client Auth tab and select Use Superbase Auth. Then you can save. Provisioning shouldn't take longer than a minute or two. Sync rules allow you to control which data gets synced to which users. So what we'll do here is we'll go to the Configure Sync Rules section in the docs. We'll copy this code over here, go to the PowerSync dashboard, select the Sync Rules YAML file, select everything here, replace it with what we've copied. We can validate it here against the to-do app instance that we created. And once it's validated, we can then deploy it and That'll take a few moments to complete so we can skip ahead and see what it should look like when it does. The last thing to do is to set up a demo app to test the functionality. There are quite a few demo apps available in the documentation. You can go down to demo apps uh, or example projects. And there you can see that we've got demo apps available for Flutter, there's a to-do list app, as well as for React Native. Uh, and if you're building for the web, there are demo apps available for Next.js and Angular.